Hey guys, King SDK here, thank you very much for tuning in to part 1 of building my ultimate gaming setup. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit subscribe as I'll be trying my absolute best to actually focus on making YouTube videos. Even though I have loads of assignments and stuff to do in college, uh, you should be seeing videos such as scale management tutorials, reviews, unboxings and more quite soon. If you have any more suggestions for future videos, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to read them. Uh, also, the CEO of Razer, Min Liang Tan, actually retweeted the Razer themed gaming setup I created, which was pretty cool. Uh, a few people actually saw the setup and seemed to be really impressed by the cable management. Uh, a few people even asked me to make a tutorial based on the cable management, which will be coming out in a couple of days. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that if you want to see a very good tutorial on how to manage your cables. Yeah, I'll leave my Twitter down in the description down below. If you guys want to actually check out the setup, as it is now, I will be changing a few things quite quickly. No, not quite quickly, quite soon, as I have ordered a few more products off of Amazon that I will be adding to the setup to make it look even better. Anyway, let's get straight into part one where I'll show you guys what I'll be using in the actual setup, such as my desk, my PC, all my peripherals, my laptop, my microphone, the LED lights on my desk, loads of stuff, but I'll be showing you all, so enjoy. So, uh, recently, I bought a 10 socket like power extension. Um, this is all surge protected, as you can see over there. Yeah, it's like a tower, place it down there. I'm not entirely sure if I'll, if I'll keep it as a tower, but I'll, I probably will. Just put it in the corner over there, once I build the desk. Then over here, we have my monitor. This is my new one, and I do intend to buy two more of these sometime soon, but that will, well, that may take a long time until I get a new one. Well, two more. Because uh, that's my second monitor and it's it's awful. I also bought an LED strip that I'm going to be mounting uh, behind the desk. Oh, quite sticky. All right. Um, there you go. There's the LED strip. Um, there's the transformer that comes with it. Just plug everything together. You can see. Then we're going to also plug that into there and power the LED strip. Then here's the remote that comes with it. It's pretty cool. Um, I saw a few LED strips on Amazon and eBay, I looked around for a while, and this is the one I chose to go with. It's actually around £10 I think I paid for this. So, must say, pretty good deal. Uh, I have not tested it yet, so hopefully it works. Um, but yeah, there's lots of things here like quick, slow, auto, DIY, flash, fade, jump, and then lots of colours, so it's all RGB. I think it said 5,000 colours? I don't know, I'll leave all the links in the description to all the products I have here. Then we also have a VGA to DVI converter uh, for that monitor, as my graphics card does not support VGA by itself. We'll show you here, swing that around. Back of the PC, there's no VGA connector. There's DMI, D D DMI, DVI uh, display port and two DVI ports. Then that's the back of my motherboard. If you guys are interested, I have a Z97 Gaming Free motherboard from Gigabyte. Pretty good motherboard. Um, can't really complain. Much better than my previous one, which was, I think, a H81 S2 PV. I think that's what it was. Uh, I will leave a link in, in the description for all the specs of this PC. There's an i7, a GTX 970 in there from EVGA for the Win Edition, of course. Then this case, if you're wondering, it's a Zalman Z11 Plus. High performance there, apparently. There's lots of fans. There's a fan there, there's like, well, there's basically three fans on the front, one fan there, one fan on the back. Fortunately, if you have probably noticed, I'm rocking a stock cooler from Intel. Oh, it's amazing. My CPU tends to overheat quite often. Every single time I render a video, the temperatures go a bit crazy, I must say. But other than that, let's continue with the parts list. So here we have an iFixit 54-bit screwdriver set that Linus Tech Tips recommended me. I used his discount code. That's cool. It was very handy when disassembling the two tables that I used to have here. I don't think I mentioned that in this video. Um, so there used to be like a massive table here. I disassembled that. I've been awake for like four hours now. Just I had to. Disassemble this table and there was like a drawer type thing here. I have to rip apart that as well. Fuck, you know, it took ages. Um, but the iFixit thing, it did make it a little bit easier. 
I also had like an old chair, this is my current chair below, a GT Omega racing chair, yes, I don't know the exact name of it, but I will leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in buying it. And there's like a second chair that I randomly have. Let's carry on. With the rest of the parts here we have a Razer Deathstalker Expert Keyboard. And here we have a Razer Naga Epic. Uh, it's not the Chroma version, but it does change colors. I bought this back in 2012. My phone would like to focus. Here we go. There's a wireless mode, there's a wired mode. Let's see if I can turn on wireless mode. Will the lights turn on? Yes, it will. So currently I've got it set to red and I... Oh, uh, my phone's just alerted me that there's 10% battery left and my mouse is also dying apparently. I haven't charged it for a while. Um, here we have two Netgear routers. I wish I had like... A, a, like a decent camera to actually record these as I'm like I kind of want to make more vlog type videos like gaming setups and stuff and just improving all the time but we're probably a long way from that a long way away from that but if you guys do want me to continue this kind of series and just make vlogs now and again then please let me down in the comment section let me know down in the comment section down below so here we have my laptop this is quite old but this is what I use to record videos with for I think two, three years, back when I was making Minecraft tutorials 24 7. Uh, so, yeah, it's a decent laptop, it has like an i3, well, I say this, you know, it has an i3, uh, like a GT520M, I don't know. It, it can run Minecraft, <laughs> it can run CSGO, I think. But, yeah, it's not the best for gaming, honestly. This is much better. Uh, up top here, we have a crappy webcam. I think this is the C270 or 260, not entirely sure, but yeah, it's not the best webcam, but when I do my face cams in all my videos, uh, I don't use that, I actually use my phone, my phone's front camera instead, since the quality on that, it, it might say 720p, but trust me, it's lying, it's, it's, it's just bullshit, it looks like 240p, it's awful. Um, oh, I almost forgot to mention, here we have the wireless, the wireless dock. For the mouse, so when it's charging, I can just mount it on there, just like that, and the charge the mouse. Oh, there we go, it falls off. Oh, I forgot to mention as well my Razer uh, Goliathus mouse pad. I've had this for a while, I bought that with a mouse back in 2012. Probably, well, I probably want to replace it, or at least clean it a little bit, since it's not in top condition at the moment, as you can probably tell. Uh, let's just move that over there. We have a few. Um, Jesus Christ, I'm really not used to recording these vlog type things. Alright, so here we have a few extensions for the mouse. We can swap the side out with the much larger grip and then the much smaller grip right here. So if I want to change how the mouse looks, I can just use these. Then moving on, we have my most recent purchase, I'd say. My Razer Kraken Chroma. As you can probably tell, I do like my Razer products, and yeah, I, I will keep buying more and more. N no one will stop me. <laughs> Alright, uh, here we have the Razer 7.1 Chroma. I am planning on making a review and unboxing of this. I've got the unboxing recorded, and I just haven't gotten around to editing it yet. As doing all the voiceovers and stuff will take quite a long time. Put that there. So there's the headset. It's pretty good. Um, I must say, right now I'll give you a short review of the headset. It's pretty good. It's comfortable. Um, the first time I bought it, it literally just clamped onto my, it just clamped on onto my head. It was so tight. It's unbelievable. Now it's much more loose. Um, yeah, it's a decent headset. But for long periods of time, um, you do get kind of a relief once you take it off, since your ears can't breathe in it at all. So yeah. There's, there's the headset for you. I would still probably recommend it as I got it for around £60. It's decent for the price. The sound quality, I must say, is really good. For CSGO and stuff, um, pretty decent, you know, good enough, I'd say. And for music, 10 out of 10. It's perfect for music. The bass is crazy. Um, over here, we have my bed covered with lots of cables uh, for all these. This video is 10 minutes long right now. And I'm probably, well my phone is probably going to die any second now, as I only had like 10% uh, battery once I started recording this. Probably not a very good idea. So there's just lots of cables there and shit. Um, yeah, this is what 
we're going to be working with here, hopefully, make this setup look really cool. And by the way, if you want to see my previous gaming setup, I will leave a link in the description down below or in the top right hand corner, I'll put the, the new YouTube card and you can go check out my previous gaming setup back in 2014. And it, trust me, it looks really quite different than it will now. So, I'll catch you guys soon. I'm going to go build a table and show you guys the whole table. Then I'll continue this series. Slow that down. Jesus, there we go. We can fade in and out of colours. And I don't think I can match this up with my razor products. This is going a bit too fast. But still, this looks so good. Definitely happy I invested in the LED lights. Wow.